Hello and welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. I want to piggyback from the tip that we covered last week regarding auto numbers. If you remember, if you watched it, uh, hopefully you did and you're subscribed to the channel. But if you remember, we talked about how do you convert an existing field and we use the account number field into an auto number field. So we you know, on a previous tip, tip number 99, we talked about creating auto number fields from scratch. Then last week, we talked about how do you convert an existing field into an auto number field. But like I mentioned, that tip was to answer one of the most popular questions I get about tip number 99, which is, well, what if I already have a field and I want to convert it? So we answer that with last week's tip. Now this week, I want to answer question, you know, number two most popular question I get about, you know, auto numbers, which is what happens to all of the records that I have in the system that don't have an auto number? How do I generate an auto number for those? Because we know that once we enable a field to be auto number, it will go ahead and start generating auto numbers going forward. So in this case, for example, if I go into the account entity and we go into the account number, you can see that this is an auto number field and I have prefixed it or prefixed it with ACCT for account and then a number of eight digits starting at a thousand. So you can see the seed value there. So I said start with that and then add eight digits, start at a thousand and start counting. So yeah, any account that I add in the system going forward, we'll start counting from there. Uh, it totally makes sense because we we just converted this field into an auto number field. So what do you do? How do you now populate the records that are in the system? If I navigate back into the system, let me just go here into account just to show you. Notice that the auto number is empty, right? So it's empty for all these records that I have in the system. I have 97 of them. So what am I going to do? Well, that is this week's tip. I'm going to answer that question. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So what I did in this case, and by the way, I learned this trick from Jonas Rapp, who's also a Microsoft MVP. So the way you do this is you have to create a custom entity that will work to generate the numbers for you. So if you notice, I created an entity here. Let me go back to Power Apps Maker. I created an entity called Auto Account Number. OK, so it's just a, an entity. Don't worry about the whole new underscore. This is just for for testing purposes, just for this tip. So you're going to create an entity and this entity doesn't have any fields. As you can see, it's all fields out of the box. The primary field, I rename it to number and you guessed it is an auto number field. So I convert it. As you know, every time you create an entity, the primary field will be text, but you can convert it into auto number. So I converted it and I follow the same principles that I used in the um, account number field. So ACCT, a digit start at a thousand. So I started the same. Now you want to be smart about this. If you're going to be generating numbers that start at a thousand, then you probably want to go back to the account record or to the auto number field and say start at 1098 because we had 97 accounts. If you remember when we looked at it. So I would probably go back and say start at a thousand and ninety eight. That way I can generate the numbers for all 97 accounts. And then with any new one, it will just start counting from there. All right, so what happens now? So we have an entity and the entity has an auto number field. So what? Well, that's when you create a workflow. And I guess you can do this with flow. I think that a workflow will just do it. You know, it, it was faster for me. It's two lines. So I added a condition just like check to see if the account is active so I can edit it. Then it says, go ahead and create an auto number, you know, account uh, auto account number record. So the first step is create one of those. Obviously the creation of that will generate an auto number, which will follow the same rule. So ACCT dash eight numbers. And then I'm going to go back and update the account. Let me show you the step, go back and update the account that I ran this for with the number that was generated by that creation of the record. That's it. So you will create a record. It generates a number, you steal that number, update the account that you ran this workflow for, and you're good to go. I actually haven't even tested this thing, so I just created it. Um, I trust Jonas, so let's go and uh, try this up and, uh, and see how it goes. So I just activated the workflow. I'm going to go back into my view, okay, right here. I'm going to select all of the records in this page, which is 1 through 50. doesn't matter. We're just testing. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and uh, where's my flow button? I keep losing it. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and test that 
uh, that workflow. Well, let's refresh, obviously, because we just activated the workflow. And as you can see, we're doing this live. And then I'm going to select them all. Once again, go to flow. We should see the workflow now. Where is my workflow? Why is it empty? Well, it you can see the name. It's weird. It's, it's empty, but you can kind of read it if you hover over with a mouse. So let's just ignore that it doesn't have the name for now. It says this workflow will apply to 50 accounts. Absolutely. Go for it and click OK. Now, if you notice, when I was reviewing the workflow, it was a background workflow. I'm not going to do this in real time and kind of just pause the whole system. So I'm just letting it run behind the scenes. And also, I wanted to take the time to let you know that there is a tool in the XRM toolbox. We have reviewed this tool before in this channel called the Bulk Workflow Execution Tool. You, if you don't have it, it's not one of the default plugins that comes with the XRM toolbox. Just download it from, from the plugin store. And that way, if you create this workflow, you can run it for thousands and tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of records you know, all uh, with a few clicks. You don't have to sit here and run it, you know, page by page by page. Now, obviously, you can increase the page. Instead of having 50, you will have 250. But if you have, you know, 180,000 records, man, that's just going to be a bad day. So it's going to just take too long. All right, so we've waited, you know, a little bit or we've waited enough. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. I'm going to go ahead and hit F5 here. Let's see if it worked. There it is. So it worked just exactly like Jonas mentioned it. And um, I'm going to add his the link to his um, you know blog article or whatever I read to learn how to do it uh, on the description. So you guys have it. Obviously, I went over the two minutes. It's not a it's not a shocker uh, if you if you follow this channel. But I wanted to make sure that you understand, you know, how the process works. So if I sort by account number, obviously you can see that uh, it's going to follow it. And uh, well, where is it not sorting by account number? Here we go. Well, it's obviously there's 40 or whatever it is, 47 uh, that did not work. But you can see it goes down on the list and, and, and starts counting. So again, if you did it, you want to keep track of that. So 97. Now the idea is I'm going to go back to Power Apps. I'm going to go to Entities. I'm going to go to Account account number and you know i'm going to start at 1098 something like that uh that way you know the you don't have any repeated numbers uh essentially so going forward it will go ahead and create um you know it will create everything you know without duplicating the the account numbers now you can change you know the the ordering which i did things i'm not saying that this is the only way to do it you can probably create the entity generate the auto numbers and do all of that before you even enable the account auto number field. I did it, you know, kind of all at the same time. So like I enable auto number in the account. I enable auto number in the other entity. I, I just did it, everything just all together. But you don't have to do it that way. You can do, you know, you can be more, um, I guess, disciplined and create an entity, generate the numbers, override your accounts, test and confirm that everything works, and then enable auto number with the right seat number you know, to start from going forward. So that way, any account you do this at like night or during the weekend. So that way, when people show up on Monday and they start creating accounts, there it goes. Like all the auto numbers just work automatically. Obviously, you know, there's going to be a bunch of different records that will be created. Those account auto number records are custom records. Just run a bulk deletion job after you're done. This is not something you're going to be running all the time. So you will, you know, you will probably just, um, run it it will generate the numbers and then delete all those records and if you want if you feel confident you can even delete the entity and delete the workflow but if you think that you will be bringing more data into the system and generating even more uh, account numbers uh, you can go ahead and keep that stuff in there i've done this in several projects where the accounts that are coming from the other system actually get a different number, which is great. And you can actually use this solution. It will be on a future Two Minute Tuesday where you know you can use conditions. Like imagine that workflow being a little bit more complex. Right now it's super simple, right? It's just doing that. But imagine having conditions where you could say, if the account is a prospect, go and create a prospect auto number record, steal the number, and use that. Maybe it starts with pros slash or, or dash whatever number and then if the account is a you know a partner then go and create this custom entity called partner auto number steal the number and use that for the auto number so now you have the account number being you know dynamic it can actually generate from different areas and whatnot so 
you can get pretty crafty with this stuff. Uh, Jonas have talked about different ways to do it as well. He's done a great job with that. Uh, totally give him credit. He deserves all the credit for this one. Um, but again, future installments of Two Minute Tuesday will go into more details and how to take advantage of that. Like, I feel that I'm undeservedly getting, you know, kind of like the auto number expert uh title and you know i'm i'm just sharing some of this stuff because it's exciting i i, I was super excited when auto number came out and i you know I'm, I'm constantly learning new ways to use it and to take advantage of it so i hope you enjoy the video this week and we'll see you next week